In this video of the KSID overview series, I'm going to show you how to turn on the online configuration mode in order to access the AKD Drive configuration screens without having a PLC program running. This allows the user to access the Auto Tuner and Service Motion screens, which will not work while a program is running because then the EtherCAD controller is in charge of the drive's command position. In order to turn on online configuration mode, you're going to first have to open up a project in the KSID software. You're going to have to scan for EtherCAT devices to make sure that all the AKD drives in the project are found. Then you're going to have to connect to the PDMM controller. And then before starting a project, you can press this button just to the right of it that if I hover shows toggle online configuration mode. When I press this, the EtherCAT lights on the physical devices are all flashing, so I know that communication is starting between the controller and each AKD drive. You'll also see highlighted in yellow the online config indicator turned on in the KSID software. Once the online config mode has started, you can choose an AKD drive under the EtherCAT section of the Project Explorer. When you double click, it shows up in the main window. And when you click on the configuration tab, it will load all the drive commissioning or setup screens. It's very nice to be able to do this without a project running. So you can go into the motor tab to make sure that the right motor and motor parameters are all selected and the feedback tab to make sure that the right feedback selection is picked and that everything is communicating correctly. Also, you'll note differences in the online configuration mode and going to this configuration tab when a program is running is that these options across the top are not grayed out. I have now have the ability to enable or disable the motor from these screens, change the op mode from position mode to velocity or torque mode, and clear, disable and clear faults if there were any active. Um, you cannot do this while a program is running because the EtherCAT controller or master is in charge of all these parameters. We also didn't have access to the service motion screen where if your drive is enabled, you can start basic um, moves that are helpful when you're trying to work out tuning. Also, we have the performance servo tuning screen, which is now available and is hidden when a program is running, which is where our auto tuner is held, which is a great tool in order to automatically populate tuning parameters and filters for the current velocity and position loops. Once you're done making changes to drive parameters, make sure to press the Save to Device button, or else any changes will not get saved to non-volatile memory of the AKD drive, and therefore will be lost once you cycle power on the device. Another common question I get is, well, can I download firmware through these screens? If I go to the Drive Overview section and press on the More, you can see which firmware version is currently loaded to the drive, Unlike the separate AKD Workbench software, there is not an option here to download firmware. You can download firmware through the KSID software, it's just done in a different screen. If I turn off on configuration mode, the configuration screen shows disconnected. But now I can go back to the main EtherCAT tab, and after I've done a scan for devices and my, all my AKDs in the system are found, I can highlight on one or multiple and then this Upgrade Firmware button becomes active. If I press it, there will be a pop-up and will let me choose a firmware version. You can download up to, up to eight AKD drives at once, all through the Ethernet cables going from the PDMM controller to the slave drives.